In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use vibrance masks. The purpose of a vibrance mask is to select pixels in the image which have very low saturation. And usually the reason you would do that is in order to give a vibrance effect with the HSL, which itself has color specific adjustments. Because in Photoshop, if you go to a vibrance layer, notice that you just get one slider for vibrance across the entire image. There's no way to tell it, hey, just adjust these reddish yellow tones in the foreground sand but don't bring out more of this magenta in the distant sand. So we can combine a vibrance mask with an HSL layer to get more specific targeting. Let's go click on vibrance to create our mask here. Notice that it's selecting areas of low saturation in the image. And right now there's no differentiation between the distant dunes and the close dunes because that difference in color will deal with in the HSL adjustment itself. So now click on HSL, open up the HSL adjustment and you don't want to grab the master saturation slider here because if you do, you'll be adjusting the vibrance throughout the image, including these areas of blue and magenta tones you don't want. Let's undo that. And instead, let's switch over to reds, or you could have used the targeted adjustment tool. And then just refine this a bit. Let's bring in the magentas so we don't have too much of those. And we can expand the yellows and oranges a bit here because we know those are going to be good tones to adjust. And now move the saturation up and you'll see that we get a nice warming effect we're bringing out more of this rich color in the foreground from before to after without bringing out too much of those reddish tones and you can of course tweak this further if you want to bring in these tails a bit and even further minimize the amount of magenta now as we look at this overall i'm also affecting the sky so this would be a good place to add a group mask let's alt click on group and now hitting b and using our white brush we'll simply paint in the foreground areas where we want to reveal the adjustment without affecting the sky and now we've made this overall adjustment to the foreground to really bring out some nice color in the image, but just in the areas where we wanted to enhance the vibrance.